And now we're going to go right to the guys who are really doing the job. We're going to go to Helmand, Afghanistan, to Camp Leatherneck. This is a Marine camp. We have Master Sergeant Michael Noble. Raise your hand and say hi. Master Sergeant Noble. Hey, how you doing? And then Thank we you. also have Lance Corporal Caitlin Leslie. How you doing? And we have Caitlin Leslie, Lance Hello, Corporal Caitlin Leslie, from both from the United States Marine Corps. Hi. Uh, we have a big delay in talking to you because of the satellites. So what I'm going to do is ask a bunch of questions up front, and then if you could answer them. We have people watching from all over the world. They've been seeing um, the successes that the military has had on the ground in Afghanistan, and they've also seen talk that we're coming home. Um, but I want to ask you all more personal questions. You know, what kind of challenges do you face as Marines deployed to Afghanistan? Um, Veterans Day is coming up. You're thinking about your families. You're thinking about your children. I mean, what special pressures and privileges do you find you face as deployed Marines? Well, as uh, deployed Marines away from your family, you do start to miss them, but you focus on the tasks at hand. Um, you come to work, you show up every day, you're with your fellow Marines, and it helps you get through it. Yeah, I, I think it's also important to have a, a good pattern to establish a, a good routine while you're over here. A lot of people take up certain hobbies. A lot of people, if you're able to, is to take advantage of your uh, education, take advantage of of working out or you know finding a hobby of growing something else while you're deployed in order to take that back with you uh, let me ask you both um, uh, master sergeant michael noble you are the senior enlisted marine advisor of the commanding officer in helmand province um, that's you've seen some of the most dangerous fighting um, and then lance corporal caitlin leslie you're an aerial reconnaissance coordination manager. Now, you provide the overwatch for troops on the ground with the use of unmanned aircraft. You've both been to Afghanistan. You've both had other deployments. But let me ask you, why did you get into this line of work? What, what was it about the military and serving your country? Did you, why did you do it? You knew it was going to be a lot of hardships. You knew you'd be in harm's way. Um, let me ask you first, Master Sergeant, what drew you to the military as a career? Well, I, I'd grown up in the military. I grew up around military communities for the most part. My father was a Marine, and at the time, I was looking for a little bit more of a challenge in what I was doing in, in previous adventures in my life, and I was looking for something just as exciting, almost just as dangerous, and something that kept me active and physically fit. So uh, 22 years later, here I am. Um, and what about you? You're 20 years old, Lance Corporal Caitlin Leslie. What drew you to the Marine Corps? Um, I do not have any members of my family that are in the military, but especially after 9-11, it was a way to give back to my country. Um, the hardest decision was actually deciding to go into the military, but as soon as I did it, I knew I had to come to the Marine Corps. Now, let me ask you both. Do you have families back home? Um, Master Sergeant, I think you have four children in Virginia. And what about you, Lance Corporal? I have three stepchildren, none of my own. Well, KT, if I, if I have four children, my wife's going to be upset with me because I've been keeping that secret. <laughs> I, I don't have any children. I'm sorry. Uh, just my wife in Virginia. <laughs> Honey, Master honey, Sergeant I don't have four, four children. children. He's obviously in so much trouble right now. <laughs> Are you all looking I forward? A, I have a German shepherd named Are King. Are you looking forward to coming home? <laughs> uh, very much so. Well, that's yes. great. I'm thrilled. Um, Jerry, I'm a, I might have forward. some explaining Are to do. Look, but. Yeah, and what are you going to be doing when you come home? <laughs> Are you going to stay in the Marine there, Corps? When there you are come countless home? things that I would like to do. Of course, yes, ma'am. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll be I'll be staying and looking okay, forward so to my uh, my next assignment. Like. Can you tell you me, uh, I know it's nighttime <laughs> you for you, work? we can see that. What are you going to, yeah? And then what? You wake up, you go to work, um, you start your 12-hour shift, you take your breaks for chow, and you return. You, you do your duty. Try to find time for PT. Try to find time to stay in contact with your families and let them know everything's going okay out here, but not much time for anything else. Yeah, for me, I'll I'll wake up here in about five well, hours and uh, start serving. the final preparations. <laughs> yeah, we'll start the preparations tomorrow. We have the uh, the birthday well, cake cutting you. ceremony for the uh, 236th yeah. birthday of the Marine Corps. Oh right. Great. Well, I want to thank you both for your service um, and and. Uh, Lance Corporal, I want to thank you for what you're doing and for all those steps that you've left behind. And Master Sergeant, I want to apologize to your wife, who um, is happily at home <laughs> wondering where those four children are. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, and have a great Marine Corps birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>